so we have arrived we are here well i'm here in portugal for two weeks um allowed a bed head literally straight out of bed it's about half eight now um did not get much sleep at all last night um but yeah so basically the plan for today is a i have to keep quiet because if not all these geezers will wake up um, so i don't want to do that um so plan for today is go out for breakfast and then i'm going to the campus where i trained last summer and um, try get a two-week membership there and then yeah today i have pushed so i'm kind of hoping the gym is quiet um so i can just record away so yeah i will catch you boys probably at the gym so boys we're at the gym now kind of just making sure no one comes in because i'm recording in the locker room so um, but yeah, basically, like I said, push day. Um, I need to go in and have a look at the machines because I don't even remember what's here. I'm gonna write it out, show you the workout. I'm probably just gonna do a little voiceover because the gym looks packed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take you through the push day and yeah, enjoy. Listen, look, I'm a London scammer. I see it, I want it, I click it. And that's in the band, old pirates whipping. Let's stay in my started clicking. No boo, I'm waitress tipping. Bad B, come and take this dinking. Holding, that's what I'm sipping. Money, that's what I'm missing. Look, I'm a London scammer. I see it. So here we are, full cable workout, push workout, you might say. Um, so starting off there, I was just literally warming up um, just to get some blood in the muscles because I hadn't even done any warm up. Um, so first exercise in is a lying lateral raise. Just literally set up the dual cable stack, set it up just about in line with your hips um, and incline the, bit, the bench a small bit um, and aim to drive your pinkies back to the corner of the room. When you can't do any more reps, bang out a few partials. These will burn like fuck. I'm just warning you now. So the next exercise, exercise, nice English. Next exercise we're getting into is a cable chest press. So once again, set the cable up just in line with your pec. And again, you're aiming to drive your elbows together, not your hands. So the pec has two functions, a pressing movement and a fly movement, which is bringing your bicep across the chest. And this, exercise works both of them very well make sure once again no reps in reserve train to failure apologies for the facials um, but yeah very very good exercise like i said i'll say it time and time again it is like a better bench press you can take it there you can control the eccentric there's tension on the chest at all parts of the movement just a really really good exercise so the next exercise is a cuffed chest fly but this is at an incline if you don't have cuffs you can do a low to high um, chest fly just with D handles. Um, try set up the bench though. I feel it works much better um, and it's much more stabilized rather than not do rather than doing it without a bench. So goal here again is driving the elbows together. This is a great, great movement. Now it will take a while to kind of find the setup that you like, or that's what I found anyway. It took me a few rotations to kind of find the setup I liked, but once you find it, it works really, really well. It's actually a very, very good movement. Um, very easy to set up and yeah. So now that we have our pressing movement and our fly movement, we are onto the final delt movement. Um, so here we are going to set up a cuffed lateral. This is gonna overload the delt in the length and range, troll all reps as per usual. And once again, just like we did with the other shoulder movement, once you can't complete any more full reps, do partials. Once again, apologies in advance, these are gonna hurt like fuck. So that is chest and shoulders done. And as I've said in previous videos, I do two tricep movements every single workout, a pushing down movement and an over the head movement. So the pushing down movement this week was a cross body tricep cuff extension. So grab two cuffs, put the cable at its top or the highest kind of level. Keep your elbows in a fixed position and just drive those hands to the corners of the room. If you don't have cuffs, once again, you could just use um, a dual rope. Make sure though, if you do use a rope, use two ropes as just the range of motion will be much better. And then the final movement of the day is a skull crusher. So this will be my overhead movement. This will work the tricep in its lengthened, lengthened? This will overload the tricep in its lengthened range. Elbows in a fixed position once again and just driving the hands up to the roof. You will see in this clip how I've set up this for skull crushers. So just put the cable just under the bench and um, it'll just reduce risk of injury when trying to get into the bench when you have the cable at the very bottom. 
So that is an example of a push worker you could do if you have or are in a quite a busy gym. And here's what the physique is looking like at the moment. So obviously that gym was mobbed and that's why I only used a cable stack um, but that is just a prime example if you are in a busy gym get on a dual cable stack give that push workout a go and um, I'm gonna label or kind of call this a full push workout just with a cable stack so yeah I'm gonna leave this here if you did enjoy the video do please like subscribe all that kind of stuff I will catch you boys in the next one